This is a big win for Peter Obi at the Elections Petitions Tribunal. Look at the response of Tinubu's lawyers, APC's lawyers, to Peter Obi's petition at the Elections Petitions Tribunal, the Presidential Elections Petitions Tribunal. From their response, they are asking the court, the petition, the, the tribunal, to cancel or strike out Peter Obi's petitions on two grounds. One is that the drug case of Tinubu in the U.S. happened many years ago, and that two, Peter Obi is not a member of the Labour Party. Those are the two grounds that they are asking the petitions tribunal to strike out Peter Obi's petition. This is a big win for Peter Obi. You know why? Six months ago, Festus Kayamo actually came on TV to make about 21 lies about this U.S. drug case relating to Tinubu. And he got away with it because that was on TV. He was not on record. I actually did a video some days back or weeks back saying that I dared Festus Kayamo and the APC's lawyers to actually lie again on the record. And they walked right into my trap. Or I would say they walked right into Peter Obi's trap. They went and they lied on the record. Although this time around, their lies were not up to 21. But I can tell you that there are more than 10. 10 lies that they told. I don't know what is going through the APC's lawyers' minds. Perhaps they think that the judges on the, on the presidential elections tribunal, presidential elections petitions tribunal cannot read. Or perhaps they think that the documents are secret. The documents are in the public domain. Everybody can see it. So I don't understand why they will be so bold to go on record and lie. We'll look at all these lies in this record one by one because just knowing that they are lying gives me joy. You know why? It makes Peter Obi's case easier and simpler. The truth is, I feel very, very hopeful right now that Peter Obi will reclaim his mandate. For one, they did not deny that Tinubu was involved in a drugs-related case in the U.S. They did not deny. How can they deny? The information is in the public domain. Tinubu was involved in a drugs-related case, heroin trafficking case in the U.S. That they cannot deny. But they went on to make certain claims that are just lies. They are false. And those claims are what we'll look at today. We'll just look at them and identify whether they are true or whether they are false. Then in another video, we'll go into details of how they are lies. I don't want this video to be too long so that you can watch it till the end. And please, don't forget to share it. We need all Nigerians to hear this message. There are many Nigerians that are still out there, particularly those Tinubu supporters that sincerely think that Tinubu is innocent of this drug case in the U.S. I'm telling you, it's shocking, but they, uh, there exist some of Tinubu lawyers who think that he's innocent. But by the response of Tinubu's lawyers and the response of APC's lawyers, you'll see that we cannot prove to those Tinubu supporters that really this U.S. drug case really happened and it was not a lie. The least that APC is doing right now, or the best that the Tinubu lawyers are doing right now, is saying that it happened 29 years ago, and that's a long time ago now. That's what they are doing. But we'll look at the law, we'll look at the constitution, and see if there's a statute of limitation on it. But for now, don't forget to share, so that more Nigerians will see this video. And then also, please, I beg you, like and subscribe. We need this information to go out. Mainstream media will not disseminate these kind of messages. They will not because of fear of fine from NBC. Meanwhile, we need the people to be informed. So that is why you have a responsibility to like, to subscribe to this channel, and then also share this video so that Nigerians will see the lies of APC and Tinubu's lawyers to the petition that Peter will be presented at the Presidential Petitions Tribunal. Presidential Elections Petitions Tribunal. Yes. So without much ado, let's go. The vanguard 
of April 11. That's what we are reading from now. Alleged drug case. White Tinubu forfeited 460,000 US dollars in US. APC tells court. That's the picture of Tinubu there. Looks like he's about to cry or he's been crying a long time. Well, that is going to be nothing compared to the cry that will come by the time Peter will be reclaims his mandate. Or perhaps he will think that he may have been sworn in by May 29 and may have enjoyed president of Nigeria, which is what I think he just wants. But then we will reclaim our mandate. Who cares? Now, they insist that Tinubu was not convicted of a crime. That is a lie. Tinubu was convicted of a crime and we will prove it as we go on. Now, the All Progressives Congress, APC, has opened up on circumstances that led to its candidates and president-elect Bola Tinobu to forfeit some, the sum of 460000 U.S. dollars to the government of the United States of America, USA, in 1993. Okay? Now, the ruling party, in processes it filed to defend the outcome of the presidential election that was held on February 25, maintained that Tinobu, who was its candidate, merely surrendered funds in 10 bank accounts that were opened in either his name or that of Compass Microfinance and Investment Company. Merely surrendered. That's a lie. He did not merely surrender it. He was forced to surrender it by a court order. A court ordered him to forfeit the funds. And the funds were forfeited because government already seized it. If government had not seized the funds, he was already in the process of withdrawing them to using them to buy land in an attempt to cover his track. So he did not merely surrender the fund. He was forced to surrender the fund, first of all, by having the fund seized by an order of court and then the court ordering that he forfeit the funds. That's a lie. We'll go into details. I don't want this video to be too long. Now, he says, he told the presidential election petition court sitting in Abuja that the funds in the said account, which were domiciled in both in First Heritage Bank and City Bank, were subject to a civil forfeiture proceedings, a case number this. Now, this is a lie because it was a criminal charge that was brought against Tinubu. A criminal charge. We'll look at it. We'll look at the details of it. We'll provide evidence. The evidences are there. But just let's know that this is lie number how many now? Line number two. According to the APC, the purported decision of the United States District Court, Northern District of Illinois, Eastern Division, in the said case, was not a fine but a decree of forfeiture of the amount of 460000 US dollars to the United States pursuant to the settlement claim by the parties to the case. This is a lie. Lie number three. You will see very soon how this is a lie. The said decision is not against the second respondent, Tinubu, but against funds in the various accounts opened in the name of Bola Tinubu. This is lie number four. Because the account has an owner. You cannot have an account without an owner. You cannot have a deposit into an account without an owner. And the owner in this case is Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who, from the charge that was slammed on him, was charged for money laundering. Money what? Laundering. And being in charge of money that was gotten by illegal activity. In this case, drugs trafficking. So, the case is filed against Tinubu through his account. We'll, we'll see this. We'll provide evidence of all this as we go on. That's lie number what now? Lie number, another lie. Let me just see because I've even lost count. Line number four or five. The compromise terms that led to the forfeiture were preceded by express admission on record that the second respondent, which is Tinubu, did not admit the commission of any drugs, drug-related or illicit conduct of dishonesty or fraud that fits into any of the grounds of disqualification to the contest. They are referring to the section 137 of the Constitution of Nigeria. Well, we will see later that he had, uh, the court ruled, the court ruled in the final forfeiture order that it was for money-related 
money gotten from drugs trafficking. 